Uh, so what about season three? Season two, we saw you guys leave off. I mean, what a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Intense, okay, first, <laughs> Sprues is galore, um, and, and kind of just, it ended on this cliffhanger of a moment where you're like, what is really gonna happen? How mm -hmm. are they gonna come back in season three? So give us a tease. What is in store for your characters in season three? I feel like redemption may be on the way. Mm -hmm. He's dead. Yeah, for yeah. Me, I just so other take other than me dying, <laughs> no, <laughs> and then he miraculously yeah, comes exactly. back. Um, you know, I think it's gonna, it, like you said, it is the redemption story for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, just like in season two, a lot of us have consequences that we need to face, and uh, you know, one of those is just being learning how to. Uh, uh, regional Trust aspects me. of things. Yeah, exactly. What about uh, you? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about Hawk? Uh, well. Kind of like in ruins, so you know, me and Sensei Crease, he's like trying to find like the next leader, and I'm, oh, Hawk is very eager to try to fill that role, you know. Mm -hmm. but there's, I mean, there's a lot of other characters, you know, so mm -hmm. you never, never know what's gonna happen. But I, I definitely, this season had a lot of fun scenes with Marty. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so th those would be cool to watch. Very awesome. Are there any fun uh, guest appearances that we could look forward to this season? No. Uh, no, no. <laughs> you know, I, oh, I think. On. Well, I think the question that a lot of people ask is like, is it possible that this character comes back or this character? And yeah. I think you know the universe is ever expanding, so I think nothing is ever you know out of the out of the question. cards or you know yeah. what I'm saying. So so it's definitely possible. You know, all these characters live in the same universe, but I think the ones that get pulled out of you know Pandora's box are really. Uh, <laughs> will be up to the writers. You know? All right, so who are some of those characters that folks are looking forward to seeing come back on the show? We always hear Terry Silver. I was about to say, that one is, that's the one that we hear, hear all, all the time. The time yeah. uh -huh. That one and Mike Barnes, for some, mm -hmm. I mean, I know why, but everyone's <laughs> always like, yeah, it was, it, Terry Silver coming it's, back. I would say it's really fun to hear some of the, what do you call them? Like the predictions for our show? Oh, uh, be like, yeah. Well, like on Hawk, YouTube and yeah, stuff. Hawk yeah. has <laughs> these two mugs in the background of his house. Yeah, and so and therefore, a, yeah, yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah, 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 that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those, those are fun. Those are cool to watch. I feel like a little intimidated to be with you because you're usually throwing out some. Bad meme and team action skills. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're really, we're, yeah, we're karate stars, you know. Yeah, I mean, you basically are. You really, really are. And I gotta say, like, season two, last episode, to train for something like that. It's really a, a one-of-a-kind experience. You know, our, our stunt coordinator slash, uh, you know, uh, guy who choreographs all of our <laughs> fights, his name's Hito and Janelle. Uh -huh. uh, they do a great job in terms of really making everyone's fighting style really unique. Uh -huh. You know, uh, when they were starting up the show, one of the big things was making sure more towards the middle of the road, whereas Hawks is much more <laughs> violent and, you know, Lots uh, of elbows, uh, dirty sharp cheap shots. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Super aggressive. Low blows. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so, so it really is, you know, all, all of the kudos should be should be given to our stunt coordinators, uh, Hito and Janelle, because they really put in all of the hours designing the fights yeah. and really making sure that we're comfortable, which is fun because we get to do a lot of our own fights, which yeah. is, which is <laughs> Super, super awesome. Yeah, it's incredible. Were you in karate before you got involved with the series? It's a master. Yeah. Really? I was, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I always I did. Excuse we me. Both, we both did like a year or two in like the first grade, but uh -huh. but yeah. then we went on to do like different sports and, and like other outdoorsy kind of things. Mm -hmm. But then when we booked the show, it definitely was a an upwards climb in terms of, because I mean, you think. Like, stretch. I was about to say, you yeah. think like, at least for myself, going into the show, I was like, oh, you know, I play sports, like, I'm athletic, oh, I can I got do this. this. I was about to say, but you're using parts of your body that it's a completely I never set, realized. It's a muscle group. Is it, yeah. Jacob? Yeah. Like, how so? What do you feel like afterwards? It's just weird parts in your hip, like yeah. all the kicks yeah. and everything. You have to stretch weird parts of your hip. Like, most of what we do, I'd say, when we're training is so much stretching. Yeah. Wow. And we just lay on the wall, and they just, like, come, like, push our legs down. Yeah. And you're just like. Um, but it helps. Yeah. Loads. Oh, yeah, it really yeah. does. Like, all the stretching really, really does help. Because we do, they try to make it so that. Uh, we can do all of our own stunts. Like they definitely yeah. cater to like every person's like strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So all, the, all of his vast amount of weaknesses, they just they just totally <laughs> yeah, care to that. Yeah. Only throws punches. <laughs> That's it. I only do backflips. Yeah. <laughs> so we know the preparation for you know training and the karate mm -hmm. sequences and things like that. But what is the preparation for your hair? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks it looks like kind of short now, but it's like it's we measured it's it the long. other day. It's like a seven inch mohawk. Yeah. Done every day. It, wow. it, it, it takes maybe like an hour, I'd say. Oh my goodness, wow. yeah, so little, high little maintenance. Right? Yeah, I know, yeah, really, yeah. High maintenance so room. high maintenance. And then but I get the tattoos, you know, get some cool tattoos and I stuff. I taught you about being a part of this industry, fame, showbiz. I think just looking at them, the one thing that I think they display 
better than anyone else is just remaining humble. Yeah. You know, both of them, when I, when I booked the show, I, you know, they're so, such large icons that you would think like, oh, they really have the potential to just be such jerks because of how famous they are. Mm -hmm. But, but getting to work with them, they really are two of the most down to earth people that I've ever met. You know, super family oriented. And I think it goes to show that just because they have that sense of fame with them doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be jerks. And I think they display that wonderfully. Perfectly. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Awesome.